Welcome to Kermode Uncut. As you may know, this year is Shakespeare's 400th anniversary, and to celebrate this, there's a season on at the BFI South Bank of Shakespeare on film. And one of the strands of that season is alternative versions of Shakespeare. So, for example, we have Forbidden Planet, which, for my money, as you know, is the definitive screen adaptation of The Tempest. We have Ten Things I Hate About You, which is based on Taming of the Shrew, and, of course, West Side Story, the kind of classic musical adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. There's also two films being shown by Kira Kurosawa, Throne of Blood, based on Macbeth, and Ran, an adaptation of King Lear, which this week is re-released in a 4K restoration in UK cinemas. In Shakespeare's King Lear, a king gives up his kingdom and decides to divide it between his daughters. In Ran, Kurosawa takes this story and transposes it to 16th century Japan, where he fuses it with the legend of Morikawa, famously having three sons who together were strong, the three arrows. Kurosawa said, but that's fine, but what if the sons weren't good? What if the sons were actually corrupt and disloyal? What if the arrows were broken? Thence comes the story of Ran, the name of which means chaos. Shot in and around breathtaking landscapes at Mount Aso, an active volcano, Ran was Kurosawa's 27th film. Astonishingly, he was 75 years old when he made the movie. At $12 million, it was also the most expensive film made in Japan at that time. And what a breathtaking piece of work it is. The most wonderful thing about the restoration is the fact that it reminds you how astonishing the visuals were. Yes, the film is thematically rich. But this is a movie which works on a level of pure cinema. So much of it is to do with spectacle. Not empty spectacle, but spectacle that means something. Spectacle that draws you in. Spectacle that actually somehow manages to tell you something new about Shakespeare. Not through words, but through visuals. Now, for many viewers and critics, Kurosawa will be best remembered for films like Seven Samurai and Rashomon, the latter of which is one of my all-time favourites. But Ran is a film which deserves to be seen and deserves to be seen on the big screen. We've talked here on the blog many times about the battle between small screen and large screen, the films that absolutely need you to go to the cinema. Well, Ran is a perfect example. Ran reminds you why cinema exists.